In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys the only way you should be using FL Studio to record professional vocals. Now, what I mean by that is I see videos all over YouTube of people using FL Studio to record vocals in what I think is the wrong way. I even see some underground and even professional artists that record in FL using FL Studio in what I think is just a sloppy way to record vocals. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys the best way to organize, record, and mix your vocals in FL Studio. We're going to build basically like a recording template for you to use, and also I'm going to be showing you guys how I'm going to make my new vocal preset the default preset. Basically, this preset is going to be something that you could just always throw on and it's going to sound good no matter what for any type of genre that you're going for. The idea of it is to be very basic with minimal effects. So later when you go to mix that vocal, you could add some stuff and spice it up on your own. But without any further ado, let's actually jump in the video. And also be sure to check the description for any important links. Okay, so bear with me here. I am going to be trying out this new editing thing that I got, which uh, basically allows me to zoom in on my mouse. So. If I'm messing that up a little bit, just, you know, beware. All we got here is FL Studio, a blank template at 140 BPM. And the first thing we're actually going to do is hop into YouTube and just find some random type beat on YouTube to actually freestyle over. So we have something to work with. All right, so I like this little Uzi Vert type beat. So we're just going to grab this, download it and bring it into FL. All right, so I have the beat downloaded and it's in my download folder right here, as you can see. And the first step we gotta do is a very important one. When you drag the beat, make sure you drag it over this track header and it's gonna pull up this menu right here. And what you're gonna do is click audio tracks. And what this does is it's gonna link this playlist track over to this mixer track right here. And it went to two for some reason. So if we just click alt left arrow on our keyboard, it'll bring that over to mix track one. Then we can rename this by clicking F2. We'll name it beat and we will just go to color red. Boom. Okay, so now we got the beat in here and when you drag a beat into FL Studio, it always has, if it's an MP3 at least, it always has this little silence right in the beginning. So we're gonna click Alt on our keyboard or click S and then Alt and slide that out. Boom, and now we should be on time. And then an easy way to find the BPM of a beat if you don't know it, you just gotta drag it around until you can see the transient of the main drop reach either bar eight or the beginning of bar nine, if that makes sense. Or you could just check if it's working in other spots too. So as we can see, this is definitely not 126, but it looks like 125 is perfect. And we gotta just bring that over a bit and then bring this over like that. And let's check. Yep, that is perfectly on time. And then what we're going to do is, as long as you're in FL Studio 21, you should have this gain knob right here. So we're going to bring the gain down just a tad bit. So we have some room to work with the vocals. And later on in the mix, we can add a limiter on our master and bring everything up instead of just having a bunch of distortion and ruining the vocals right off the bat. Okay, now let's actually begin to create our recording track, which is actually going to end up being our main vocal track. I usually just record on the main vocal track because in FL Studio, that seems to be the easiest way for me. So what we're going to do first is go to the mixers, go to the second open one right here. We're going to right click and add a separator. This will just separate it from the beat. And then I'm going to select about, let's do three tracks and I'm going to click create group and we'll just call this vocals for now. It's going to rename these all to vocals, but we'll rename these later but it also creates a separator and just creates a little group. So I'm gonna click F2 and just leave this as vocals, make this blue. And then I'm also gonna right click this track and click A, which is gonna assign it to a new audio track, which is this one right here. So now when we're in the playlist, we could use this easy to arm the track. We could change this around. We always wanted that external input only. And we could also set our input. I set mine to input one, cause that's where my mic is, but yours might be in a different location but just set it to wherever your mic is. So I am going to go quick with building this preset because this isn't going to be in an in-depth mixing tutorial, but kind of just, but kind of more so just to show you guys how to record. So as I begin to build this preset, just bear with me because we are going to go fast. So the first thing I'm going to add is Autotune Pro. We're going to set it to low latency. And for now, we're going to bring the retune speed all the way up. I don't know the key of this song yet, so I'm just going to leave it. Then I'm going to grab basically a noise gate. I use NS1 for this. This is just my favorite noise suppression. Then we're going to grab Fab Filter. And for now, I'm just going to put it on the vocal preset. And we're just going to bring this low pass or the high pass up a bit. Now we're going to start with our first compressor. Just going to bring the threshold down. We don't know exactly where this is going to be because we're going to have to adjust this later. But I'm going to bring the ratio to let's go three to one. 
and then pretty quick attack and a moderate release. Just leave it about there, some pretty average settings. Then we're gonna grab an SSL channel, which is basically just another form of EQ. And we're just gonna slightly boost the highs, the high mids, and take out some of the lows. And the next thing I'm gonna grab is another compressor. Having two compressors on your vocal really helps bring that vocal up into the mix and just allows you to hear it much better. It makes sure to get that vocal right in your face. So I'm just gonna change this to bluey. I don't know what that exactly does, but I seem to like the bluey one better. And we're gonna adjust the attack to about noon and then just keep this all the way up. And we'll just keep the ratio at four. Next thing I'm gonna add is fresh air. If you don't have this plugin, it is free. I recommend to go get it. It's one of my favorite plugins. I'm just gonna slightly boost this. And then I do have a bit of a weird vocal chain. Usually your de-esser would go before the fresh air, but I tend to do it like this, where it's after the fresh air. And we'll have to adjust this later as well. But we'll keep it like that. And that's pretty much it for our vocal chain. I don't have much more. Usually I do add an EQ just at the end, just in case there's anything I wanna tame with the vocal. But now what we're gonna do is take two tracks, right click and click dock to the left, or I take that back. Let's do dock to the right. Okay, and then for this first one, we're gonna click F2 and name it reverb and let's just make it green and for the second one we're gonna click f2 all this delay let's make this yellow boom so now we got a reverb and delay bus we could use and to actually get these to work you have to click the vocal track that you want to apply the reverb and delay to then shift click this button on the reverb and shift click this on the delay and then you control the amount of reverb with this knob right here and the delay with this knob so now let's actually set up our reverb. I'm just gonna grab a Valhalla Vintage Verb. I'm not gonna do too much changing to this, but we'll just bring that low cut up. And then, uh, yeah, we'll just leave it like that. And then for the delay, I tend to use H delay, but honestly, you could use Fruity Delay 3. It's almost the same exact thing. And I'm gonna turn the analog off, set this to ping pong, set the delay to 1 fourth, very typical delay. And I'm just gonna bring that feedback down. Okay, so now we have our main vocal track, and you could duplicate this over and create your ad lib track, but I usually do that later once we actually start recording and adjust the actual main vocal track. So then we duplicate over the adjusted version for the ad libs. But now this is usually where I would just turn on my mic and start testing out the vocal, see how we like it, and if it sounds good. So what I'm gonna do is turn my mic gain down because I do want the gain to be a bit quieter, and then I turn on my mic. So this is what the preset sounds like. And there is no reverb right now because we have yet to add it. So let's add some reverb in. Yeah. Oh. Okay. All right, so now we got some reverb. And this is a little too dark for me. So we're going to change this to 1980s. Maybe go to plate. Yeah, this sounds a bit better. And then let's go back to the vocals and add some delay in. Delay in, delay in, delay in, delay in. Here we go, just some ear candy. Let's bring a high pass in. Yeah. There we go. So now we got a very basic vocal. Let me mute the reverb and delay so you can hear me better. But what we're going to do now is try and find the key of the song. An easy way to do that is just sing to the song in a minor scale and just keep changing the key, or the key until you hear something you, that sounds good. But in our case, the beat actually already has the BPM and key right here. So we're going to do G minor. All right, so let's go into auto-tune, set it to G minor, and now we should be in scale, let's see. Okay, so at this point, we kind of have to decide where we want to go with this vocal, so I'm thinking something softer, so I'm going to actually turn the retune speed down and the humanize up, and then we're just going to bring in a decent amount of reverb, and I'm going to go to this first EQ, and we're going to take out, we're going to like softly pull out the low end here. Yeah, yeah. Let's make it super soft and kind of shelf it like this. Yeah. 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 I can't stay the way you move. I can't. So yeah, something like that sounds good to me. So I think the vocal has to be louder, so let's check this. We bring this threshold down a bit, and I wanna soften this vocal out a bit, so we're gonna bring the attack up and release it down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sounds cool. 
yeah bring this input up yeah 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 okay i'm liking this and i want to do something with the stereo field so i'm actually going to add a chorus so we got this effect yeah it just now we got like some stereo sound it'll just sound good for the drop so let's see if we can come up with some kind of some kind of sound here and i'll show you guys the next step we're just going to do something basic maybe eight bars <laughs> All right, so let's mute that for now, but I'm liking the way that sounds. I think it needs to be a little louder. So we're just going to go through and mix this a bit. Okay, so that works for now. So what we're going to do is create the ad-lib track now and just do some layering. So we're just going to right-click the main vocal, save mix track slate as, and just go to the next one over here. Let's turn off that separator, F2 on the keyboard, name this ad-libs. And you know what? We might as well change the color too. Just make it a little darker blue. Make sure to right-click and click assign to new audio tracks or just click A. And that'll just make a second little ad-lib track right here. Let's turn this on. And now let's just adjust this to be an ad-lib track. So what I'm going to do is go into this second reverb, or I mean second EQ, and we're going to go to phone. Yeah, so now we have this effect. It actually sounds pretty good right off the bat. And let's see what we can do with this. Maybe let's turn this on. Get this going. Oops, wrong button. Shift-click these to activate it. Yeah! Ooh. Yeah! 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 Let's make this a little quieter. Now that I'm up and I want it all. Take what you want, but you gotta call. Yeah, it took a while, but I'm taking off. Yeah, and I'm up right now, so I want it all. All right, so back to the normal mic. So that was just a one take little ad lib track, but a cool effect that I was gonna try and explain to you guys right here is so if you listen to this vocal by itself, oh, right now, so they want it. Oh. it sounds like it should just be dragged out. I don't know if you know what I'm saying, but it just seems like I was thinking of maybe doing a reverb automation, but instead we could just use that ad lib to drag it out with just our voice. And it sounds pretty much just as good. Yeah, yeah. And I'm up right now, so they want it. Oh. And in context with the beat, it just sounds great. So let me start this from the top. So yeah, there we go. That is how I would mix, you know, a song like that using this default vocal preset. If you guys do want to grab this preset, it'll be linked down in the description below. Like I said, it's just your default vocal preset. You adjust it and make it sound like however you want. It's going to come with three different tracks, an ad lib, main vocal, and then a reverb and delay bus. So I actually mean four tracks, but this will be available for FL Studio stock, FL Studio waves, Ableton stock, Ableton waves, Logic stock, and Logic waves. So pretty much every option out there. Now, if you guys are new here and you're not subscribed, make sure you go down and hit that subscribe button. But in all my videos, I usually end it with a freestyle. So that's what we're going to do in this one today. So let's see if we can one take this. So I'm going to lower my microphone. Turn this on. Let's go. Yeah. I got it all.
Yeah, when I'm up, they wanna take what I got. Take what I got, you gon' hate these shots. Fuck a little 